these shoes are so pretty. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome friend. I am Tasha Jade, the owner of The Styling Tea, a blog dedicated to all things luxury and affordable beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. So in today's video, guys, I'm actually going to do something that I'm very excited to, we'll just say kind of partly kick off 2021, and that is I want to go through my luxury wish list of all the items that I am manifesting into my life this year so we're gonna go through all the different goodies I'm gonna tell you why I actually am excited to actually buy them um but before we actually get started let me just tell you a little bit about these newbie earrings that I have here because they're so awesome okay guys so I picked up these really great earrings from the brand Jacques Mousse um, I, these have actually these were, were originally on my wish list in 2020 well 2020 um but i actually got them a couple of weeks ago um if you're following me on instagram you will have seen me actually unbox them there but let me just take them out and just show them to you guys really quick because these are probably the best earrings that i've actually purchased so far in terms of jewelry and i will say that as much as i really love luxury goods i I'm really starting to see the value in investing in more higher end quality pieces of jewelry. Before, I was never really that jewelry girl, and I'm quickly becoming that jewelry girl because the pieces that I used to actually purchase were always, you know, stuff like from Zara or like H&M or Mango or like just wherever, like just really, really, really custom pieces. And so, with this one from um, Jacques Mousse, this is what the gold hoop earring actually looks like. And this one is actually called the, um, I'm going to put the name of the, of the, the, um, the earrings down below because I have to find them, but they originally retail for $250 and literally for most sites, that's still the same price. But Essence is actually offering them at a discount. I purchased them for $170, but right now guys, they actually have them available online, still in stock for $140. So, Please do not wait, go and get these earrings because I'm telling you they are not going to last very long. But this is the box that they actually come in. So when you open it up, you get this really nice um, linen pouch that comes with it. And I love how, you know, you can just put your earrings in here and it has like a nice little drawstring. Um, at the top of this so this is great even just for traveling so I I just love how it's, it's really easy you know to actually store so without enough without further ado let's go ahead and get into this wish list okay so the very first item that is on my 2021 luxury wish list is the Louis Vuitton Ken's I hope I'm saying the right name for that but it is the Ken's bag so this bag which I'm gonna feature right here on the screen this is a like this is really a bag that you can wear as a crossbody. It is one that you that has a top handle, so you can take the strap off and just you know carry it around with just the top handle um, for easy wearable use. I fell in love with this bag when I first saw it last year, and it has been you know on my wish list for something that I would really really love to actually have in my wardrobe. I can see this in my closet and wearing it in so many different ways. Um, what I love about the bag is that it's something that's completely different. Um, yes, I have seen a lot of other fashion bloggers actually wearing this bag, but the thing that makes this really exciting for me is the fact that looking at the bag, it kind of looks like a makeup tote, and I obviously am not going to wear it as that. You don't have to put like makeup and stuff in it, or even like, like a small little carry-on. It's such a cute conversational piece um, that is actually functional. So. You know, you can definitely fit your cell phone in there. You can fit your keys in there. You know, if you have a regular size wallet, you can fit that in there. So are you going to be able to fit a lot of pieces in it? No, but it's something that's very easy to actually just grab and go. And I feel like it's something that's just going to be like a standout piece, you know, from Louis Vuitton. The next bag that I'm actually, um, I've listed on my wish list is the Saint Laurent Reeve Gauche in leather so we've seen this bag honestly in the canva 
Um, here's a, a picture of the canvas just to remind you guys what that actually looks like. But as much as I like the Canva, I thought it was great. But the problem for me is that I just feel like this bag is one that's going to get dirty really, really quickly. I know like a lot of girls are actually using this for travel. To me, this does not feel like a real, it doesn't feel like an appropriate travel bag for me. And I only say that because if I'm going to spend a thousand something dollars on a bag, I want to know that the bag is definitely going to last for a very long period of time. And I am a Saint Laurent girl. Like I, like I said, I love, love, love Saint Laurent but i want something that's really just going to have more durability and i just don't see it with this particular one so when i saw that saint laurent released the leather the leather version of this i was all over it so i've showed you guys my leather fendi tote numerous times i feel like i've shown this to you guys so many times you're probably sick of it or probably not because you know i do get people asking me you know if the, i'd be willing to sell it and the answer is no <laughs> But I will say that the leather one to me, I just feel like if I'm going to travel, this would be my travel carry on bag. Um, I think that it is definitely more functional. It definitely has a lot more, more durability to it. Um, I don't have to worry about it actually getting really dirty. So if, you know, there is dirt on it, I can basically use a leather cleaner, you know, wipe it off and I'm good to go. Um, I think that this is something that just, it really just makes your outfit just, you know, really just stand out with a little bit more edge to it. I mean, leather always do, does that anyways. But then you add this tote to it and it's just like, you just look like a Saint Laurent model. Like you just look like that Saint Laurent girl. So this is the one that I actually want over the Canva version. Mm. Now the next one that I'm gonna mention to you guys is from the brand Off-White. I love Off-White obviously for you know the reasons that this is a black owned business but also for the simple fact that they just have you know really great designer pieces, um, very high durable pieces that will really last and like the pieces that they they actually carry especially for their handbags they're just eye-catching you know pieces that you're going to carry all the time so i have been following off-white for the past two years and the bag that i'm really really dying to actually get is called the off-white jitney crossbody they had another version of the of this bag where it had a little bit of like a cutout i can't remember the name of that bag but it's also a jitney bag um, it had like a cutout on the side of the bag and that bag sold out. It's, it's a little difficult to find it. Um, there was also another one that they, they actually created that had the words on it. One of the words was cash out and I wanted that bag as well. That one sold out, but I really love this, um, all white bag because I think this is such a crisp looking bag. Um, it's something that is very easy to just throw on. You can wear it as a crossbody. You can wear it as a tote, as a top handle bag. Um, it's something that, you know, you could was, literally can go with just about anything. You can, you know, make it a little bit more elegant. You can actually, you know, keep it casual, but it's a bag that just really, you're going to stand out. People are going to ask you, where did you get that bag from? And it's something that I think is just it's something I will definitely have in my wardrobe for a very long time. I definitely don't see myself actually selling this bag anytime, you know, within a year. This is something that I would probably keep for a long time and probably even pass down to my niece. Okay, so the next bag um, that is on my 2021 wish list, y'all. So <laughs> I'm so excited for this bag, but we already know about the Bottega pouch bag that has become super, super, super popular, but I actually saw that Bottega had released another version, which is the paper bag one, which I'm going to show you right over here. Um, when I saw the paper bag leather pouch bag, I instantly fell in love. Yes, the bag is still pricey. However, it's a little bit cheaper than the other ones. This one actually retails for 1900 and I have been searching to find this for an even cheaper price. So I will constantly be on the hunt to find it. If I do, I will let you know where to get it. Um, but I love this bag for the simple fact that it's so different. Um, looking at it, it looks like the bag is literally made out of paper. And I think that's the reason why I really am drawn to it. But I just see this, like, I see this as such a casual bag. You know, I mean, I will say like, no, there is no draw or um, crossbody strap to go with it, but I don't even care. I just, 
this is one of those bags where I just feel like I just want to have it just to have it you know what I mean like it's not a bag that I would wear every day it's not a bag that's super functional but do I want it yes I want this one this is the only Bottega bag right now that I think of that I would actually say I would pay the money for it and if I couldn't find it for full, for less than full price I would probably pay full price the rest of them no <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and get into the shoes because I have about four different pairs of shoes that I am dying to purchase this year and I am claiming that I'm going to have them in my wardrobe this year but the very first one is another Bottega shoe because I honestly listen I fell in love with Bottega last year I mean Bottega, Bottega last year and the year before I literally fell in love with it the shoes that I actually want are another pair of stretch sandals but these ones are a little bit different so I actually have a pair of stretch sandals that are a Bottega dupe that I purchased from Lulu um, that are no longer available unfortunately but this time around I really want a pair of the stretch sandals in this really 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 amazing pistachio green color I saw I first saw these shoes actually from Tamara Mellon who's a amazing fashion influencer I follow her um, on YouTube and I love her content but I saw these shoes on her and I was just like I honestly felt like this is going to be my summer it shoe like these are the shoes that I'm gonna wear all summer long no matter where I'm going I can wear them in so many different ways and I'm gonna be able to transition them over into the fall so I just love the brightness of the color I think it would look so great against my skin tone so that is something that is on my list to actually buy this year and I I'm gonna get it I'm gonna I am definitely gonna get that shoe and it is not gonna be a dupe so the next shoe that I have on my wish list is the, one of it's another lug boot I'm not gonna lie like I think I'm like addicted to these shoes but it is a um, Stella McCartney Emily boot so these are the boots right over here but these boots are kind of like a play off of the I mean we all know the Bottega um, lug boots were super super popular you know in the fall going and in, even into now for the, the winter time these shoes I feel are so much better to me they're so much better to me than the Bottegas one because they're a lot cheaper um, and I just feel like looking at them and from what I've seen from you know from other stylists um, and seeing them actually try them on and stuff that these shoes really actually they kind of fit a little bit better in terms of looking better on your feet than the Bottegas. The overall consensus of what I've heard with the Bottegas is that they can make your feet look a lot larger. The shoes are, are a lot larger than what you actually think. And I'm not looking for a large shoe because I'm already five foot three. Like I have, I wear a size seven, six and a half, seven and a half if I'm just picking out boots. And that's because I like to wear thick socks. The last thing I want is to have like big floppy feet you know to go along with my short frame it's not cute i don't want it <laughs> okay guys so the third shoe that is on my 2021 wish list is the jimmy choo embellished mule so y'all these shoes are so gorgeous oh these shoes are so pretty i want these shoes so much i really 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 do um the first time around I saw the shoe, they actually retail for almost a thousand dollars. The first time I saw them go on sale, unfortunately at that time I could not afford them. So I am still on the hunt to actually find them for a lot cheaper because I refuse to pay even close to a grand. Um, and I do know that some places will actually offer them for cheaper. I have a feeling by the time spring comes around, these shoes are going to make a huge price decrease so if that happens please believe I will be snatching these shoes up and I will let you know where to find them because these shoes are y'all they're so gorgeous if you're looking for a nice classic elegant shoe this is a shoe to get do I think that it is easy to walk in I'm not quite sure I will let you know but I do want these shoes and I one thing I will tell you with Jimmy Choo's is that you definitely have to size up in the shoe because they run like half a size smaller 
but I just love the look of the shoe. I think like they, they're just gonna make any type of a dress just look so much more elegant. Um, it's definitely a dress shoe. This is not a, you know, a shoe that you can wear with every single outfit. You definitely need to get this shoe if you're gonna wear, if you're, if you have a purpose of going somewhere. So me having this shoe, I definitely want the, you know, be able to wear this if I'm going out for, you know, to dinner, you know, on a date or something, or if there's like some type of like event or a party or something that I'm going to, I don't even know what type of party. I mean, in all honesty, like we have nowhere to go right now, but in my head, I'm already envisioning the places I would go to in this shoe when that time comes. <laughs> Cause this shoe is gonna be worn. It's gonna be worn and it's gonna be seen. Like that's the purpose of this shoe. Okay, and then the last shoe is the classic Chanel Pearl Mule. So. This is an oldie, but it is a goodie. Um, this shoe is not one that you can just easily find online. Um, a lot of places that actually do have them are um, resellers or consignment stores. So sites like um, Fashion File or um, The Real World would probably have this. Tradesy actually has them. But I'm not looking for a shoe that's, that's really been worn in. I'm looking for a version of this that is pretty much almost brand new. Um, there's nothing wrong with wearing used shoes. I actually buy consignment shoes, you know, at times, and for specifically for the designer, just, you know, for the simple fact that sometimes I just don't want to pay full price. But I just want, I just want like the Chanel shoe. I want this to be almost brand new. So if Chanel does have them in store and they are a reasonable price that I'm willing to pay, then yes, I will pay full, I will pay for them in store full price. I mean, obviously they don't sell them at third party stores, um, you know, that like Farfetch or um, Luisa Via Roma because they're not partners with Chanel, but I do, you know, search consistently to find them, you know, on Tradesy um, or even on Fashion Vile for a good price. The problem is, is that the quality of the shoe of what and you know the wear and tear of the shoe what i've seen so far just hasn't matched to what it is that i'm looking for which is why i haven't gotten it so it's on my wish list it was on my wish list last year but it's on my wish list for this year so i'm still going to be on the hunt for this shoe okay so let's go ahead and switch gears on over to clothing so one thing i will tell you is that i do not buy a lot of high-end luxury clothing and the reason being is because for a lot of, I mean, unless it has to do with, unless it's a, a coat, um, maybe sometimes a dress, I usually feel like I can find things that are what I'm looking for um, in alternative styles from more affordable high street stores. So um, anything that's like, you know, new in season, you know, from a designer, like you're not gonna see me just run out and buy that. Now, if I, you know, if I've got like Oprah money, please believe I'm running out there and buying it directly from the store. Like, we're not even having any other type of conversation. Yes, I am buying it directly from Chanel, directly from Givenchy, absolutely. Like, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna lie about that. Yes, I totally would. But, <laughs> that version of me is not here. So, <laughs> I'm sure you and I can understand that we like to actually have a more luxury look for a little bit better of a price. So, these are two coats that I actually have on my wish list for 2021 that I really, 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 really want to be able to actually purchase. So the first one is actually, I mean, you guys are gonna be like, oh my gosh, I'm, I want this as well. But the first one is the Balenciaga Hourglass Coat. Everybody wants this coat. Am I any different? No. Everybody wants this coat. Everybody's talking about this coat. And it is not something that you can find just everywhere. Um, not everywhere at a good price. There's a couple places that do have them um, at full price. And I'm not trying to pay full price. I'm trying to get that discount. So obviously, like we talk about this all the time. So I actually want to get both the short and the long version. I want a shorter version that I can wear in the springtime, not in the summer because it's gonna be a little hot unless I'm in the Bay Area and then of course it's still spring for most of the summertime. But I really wanna be able to have a, a coat that I can wear for the spring and the fall time that's shorter. And then I also want the long version for those winter um, seasons. So this is a coat that I know like 
I'm not getting rid of. It's gonna get passed down into my family. My niece will probably inherit it from me in my will. Like that's just how it's gonna go. So I definitely want the hourglass coat. The color of it, so I've already envisioned it. The short one, I want it in like this cobalt blue color. And then for the longer coat, I kind of want it in like a plaid color. I kind of, I want it in a plaid and, or I want it in all black. Like a nice black classic coat. I mean, that literally, that coat would literally knock every coat in my closet out of the, out of the, the way. Like they would all just have to say goodbye because it would just take over. It's a stutter. And then the other coat, I, when I saw this on um, Side to Silva from Scout the City, I was gaggy. Like this, oh my gosh, you guys, this coat was so unbelievable. But I saw the, this coat from the, the brand Monts and they created this deconstructed trench coat that is unbelievable. <laughs> the coat is so amazing. I honestly feel like you could probably wear the coat itself as like an outfit on its own. It's so, like you could probably wear the coat when put like a pair of leather pants with it and you're good to go. Like it's, it's such an impeccably well-made piece. Um, it's almost like, it's such like a very artistic piece, you know, that you're just never gonna get rid of. And I love, 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 love the coat. Um, I just feel like I have to have this in my wardrobe. It's something that I just know like, it's gonna stay in there for a very, 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 very long time. Um, the coat itself actually retails for, um, tw I think it's around like 2,400. So I'm looking for um, some site that actually has it for a discount um, so I can get, I can feel like I'm actually like getting some type of a win. Like, you know, finding out that secret deal or that secret tea that other people aren't quite aware of. Like that's the reason why I want it. So fingers crossed that I actually get this. Okay, and then to wrap out this entire list, we can't forget about accessories. So one of the accessories that I have on my list are a pair of sunglasses from Lueve. So I, one thing about me that I love, I am a sucker for oversized sunglasses. I love them. The reason being is because when I wear a pair of sunglasses, I like for my sunglasses to make me look over the top. And by over the top, I mean, I just want to look like I'm glamorous. Um, even if I, like my sunglasses are the only thing that's really stylish. Like I don't care if I'm wearing a pair of sweats. I don't care if I'm wearing workout clothes. My sunnies need to actually be oversized and just a showstopper. So what I love about these Loewe sunglasses is that it's literally going to do that for me. So I will say like, because of the shape of my face, it's very easy for me to actually find good sunglasses because I've been able to be very versatile in different ones. Like I haven't found a pair where I'm like, oh, that's just not gonna work on my face. So I'm very happy for that. But these sunnies, I love the fact that they have this green tint to it. They're just so cute. Like, I just feel like the way that they're gonna sit on my face, it's just, it's just gonna give me this very bougie vibe and I'm all for it. So um, I have those on my wish list. Um, I think Farfetch actually has them and I did look and see. I think Luisa Villaroma also has them as well. And the very last item on my wish list that I am super, super, super excited to actually get is an item from Dior. So you guys, these sunglasses I found last year and like, I am so excited to get these, but they are the Dior, I'm gonna try to get the name right, but the Dior Montang, Mont Montang Squares glasses. So I, these come in multiple different colors, but I actually want the one with like the gold trim around the frame of it. And I love it just because it just adds a little bit more elegance to it. It's just a little bit more glamour to it. You know what I mean? Like the, the all black ones, like those are great and all, but they're not that much different from a pair of Saint Laurent glasses that I actually already have. And so I feel like having the gold trim around the frame is going to separate them um, for the simple fact that these also are a square frame sunglasses. So I actually have the, Saint Laurent Betty glasses and so those already have a square frame as well so I'm not trying to get too many square frame glasses because otherwise like they're just gonna sit there and I'm gonna forget and this literally does happen I will forget how many glass sunglasses I actually have in my 
um, in my closet and then find out later, oh, I didn't realize I had two pairs of the same ones or I have two similar ones that I really just don't even need. All right guys, so that is it for my 2021 wish list. If you have made it to the end of this video, thank you friend. Make sure you hit that like button down there below. You know, give me a good thumbs up and let me know that you are enjoying this content. So then of course I can keep popping out this content for you guys every single week. And if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, please think about hitting that subscribe button down there below and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every single time a new video drops right here on the Styling Tea channel. And of course, you can keep getting that tea directly from me. Follow me on Instagram at the Styling Tea for daily tips and tricks, as well as um, unboxing tea, because that's where I'm doing it first. Remember, that's where I show these. Uh, but follow me there for all of that great goodies every single day. That's where all the tea is being spilled first before it even hits YouTube. Check out my blog, thestylingtea.com. And thank you guys so much for tuning in for another video. And before you go, guys, please let me know in the comments down below what items are on your 2021 wish list. It could be anything, whether it's designer, whether it is you know, just high street fashion like technology, whatever. Let's have a chat about it because I want to hear what you guys are, are actually looking to get this year. All right, guys, I will see you in my next one. Bye.